that we teach the entire spectrum of United States history. The Department of Public Instruction has underway a revision of the social studies curriculum. And the first draft that we had was distributed to our teachers because we wanted teachers to have the first opportunity to give us feedback across uh, the curriculum and across the uh, all areas of North Carolina. And for some reason, someone got the wrong impression that this was the final draft. And it was not. It was the first draft, and we wanted to give the courtesy to teachers to look at the first draft. Our intent was to increase the teaching of U.S. history. And I think that my nephew really exemplified what, why that's important. He and I were riding down the road, and I said to him, John Robert, have you had to memorize all of the presidents of the United States yet? Mm -hmm. And he said, no, I haven't. And I said, well, when I was your age, I had to memorize all the presidents of the United States. And he said, well, June, please realize that there are a whole lot more presidents now <laughs> than when you were in school. So that's one of our dilemmas yeah. in public yeah. education when yeah. it comes to the delivery right. of all of U.S. history. And so we presented several options. Whether, and these options are on the table and we want feedback. Uh, one option is to take U.S. history up to 1877 or another cutoff point and teach that as the first course and then follow the next course with uh, the rest of our U.S. history. Another one is to put more history into our civics and economics course and then start where that course leaves off in U.S. history. And so the, the reason why we have all of these drafts is to get input right. to uh, have our teachers and citizens and others. Uh, we received lots of feedback about this area and some of our emails have been very passionate and uh, some of our emails have been very caustic, but uh, I want all the viewers to know that we do not have any desire, any plan, or any intent to shortchange the teaching of U.S. history in our schools. Right. Uh, we want to teach U.S. history in elementary school, then in middle school, and we want to make sure that we teach it in a way that students can remember what they learned in the eighth grade so they can use that as they continue with social studies at the high school level. Right. So I hope the caller feels better um, as a result of hearing that explanation. Right. So it's going to be more history. Right. Uh, uh, but but uh, the other thing, no decision has been made. Exactly. They, they were soliciting input. Right. That's it. Uh, uh, we thing. typically go through right. Uh, four or five drafts because mm -hmm. before it's ever presented to the State Board of Education. Good. And we do that because we want the process to be transparent. We want uh, input from concerned citizens. We want input from our teachers great, and great. administrators. Well, let, let's go back to our calling in Durham then. Do you have a follow-up question to that? Because that, that's an excellent question. I think you just ask a question that's on the minds of a lot of citizens in North Carolina. So thank you for calling in and asking that question. Uh, any follow-up to that? No, thank you. That's a good answer. Thank All you very right. much. Thank you very much for calling in. Uh, let's go to another caller over in Durham. Please, you're on the line in Durham. Uh, hi. Um, uh, I was wondering about um, arts education. Um, and uh, actually, I'm kind of, I loved the question before, so I sort of hate to switch gears as <laughs> radically as this, but the reason I called was to talk about um, the requirement of um, arts education um, in schools. Uh, to my knowledge, that is the only area that is not an absolute uh, requirement for graduation, and I wonder if there's any plans um, that that might change, and um, just what what's your intention? I think it's very important for young people to be um, exposed to both um, art historical education and also give opportunities mm -hmm. for them right. to create art or to dabble in art making, um, and just wonder where you stand on, on the issue of arts education. Okay. It's interesting that you would ask that question. Uh, yesterday I just uh, attended a kickoff in Winston-Salem about uh, a professional development opportunity for teachers in K through 12 as it relates to integrating arts education. In North Carolina, arts education is required through grade eight. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of debate when the State Board of Education uh, changed and, uh, in, and increased graduation requirements. The State Board of Education did say in the end that they recommended that students take an arts course 
uh, as a part of the high school curriculum, but as of yet, it is a recommendation. I believe in the 21st century that it is very important that arts be a part of our students' education. And why do I say that? I say that because we know that in the 21st century that we need students to be able to imagine, we need students who can create, and we need students who can innovate. And arts education is integral in teaching those skills.